I'm Hugh Morrissey Brown. I go to St Peter's College and I'm here at New Zealand Hot House to see how tomatoes and other vegetables are grown on a large scale. Well, Hugh's come to New Zealand Hot House, just south of Auckland, to learn about the job of a vegetable grower. The Hot House is one of the biggest glasshouse producers in the southern hemisphere and one of the most technically advanced in the world. Hi, Hugh. My name's Jason. I'm from an New Zealand hothouse, welcome. You won't need your jersey, she's pretty hot in these greenhouses. Come with me and let's go. Head grower Jason Culbert is on hand to show you that there's much more to a career in today's vegetable production industry than simply harvesting the crop. How many plants are growing in one section? In one of these units alone we can be growing up to 50,000 plants. And we have uh, seven sections on this property, so we're growing well over 200,000 plants just on this site alone. With such intensive cultivation on the site, the technology involved in keeping production up is immense. First lesson to learn, the plants are hydroponic, there's no soil. The tomatoes grow in precisely measured nutrient-rich water, but the technology's for later. First, it starts with the basics. When we're picking tomatoes, we pick to a certain colour. With this particular variety, we're just picking to what we call half colour. So it's just, it's not too green or not too red. So we leave those ones there, that's just too hard. Everybody starting out in this industry has to begin with getting their fingers green in the hothouse. All right, Hugh, so the next job we're going to do today is deleafing. Okay. And, and the reason why we deleaf is as the plants grow and they've lot dropped down, we need to take leaves off so we can see the tomatoes for picking. And we just snap the leaves off. And we just simply remove two leaves per plant. Yep. All right, Hugh, so there's uh, 360 plants in this row, so um, I'll leave with this row and I'll go and have my smoker break. Cheers. The exciting thing about this job is you can get, you get up every day and come to work and you actually enjoy what you're doing. Um, a lot of people out there don't enjoy their jobs, whereas I, you know, I really enjoy this job and I get a kick out of it. I feel like I'm only still a child in this industry. It's such a, a career, a, um, a lifelong career, so you're continually learning. That's what keeps you going at the end of the day. Before we can get on these trolleys to do our next task, we've got to do some trolley training. There's safety to read about, and buttons for forwards and reverse, an accelerator foot pedal, and up and down. All right, so the most important thing, obviously, is our emergency cutout switches, so if we ever have a problem. There's three jobs to be done. Now they're up in the air. This is a job that uh, is done as you get, gain more experience. It's called twisting and layering. We uh, twist the string around the plant, and then we layer the plant. So we just grab the, the, the bobbin, release it, and drop it down. So you can imagine the plants are layered down the row because they grow about that much a week, about 25 to 30 centimetres, depending on the week. The vine can grow up to 20 metres long and the stem is coiled around the bottom. Once a year, the old plant is discarded and a new one grown. The other job that we do as well, we're going to um, put truss clips on our trusses and then we're going to prune each truss to a certain number of fruit. All right, grab a truss hudge like this and then click it on. OK, once we've done that, then we can prune the truss, OK? So for tomatoes in this house, we're pruning to five. So this truss has six fruit, so we remove one flower off the end of that truss. The importance of doing this is uniformity. So what happens if we don't put a clip on, the trusses can kink and we get many different sized tomatoes. So we want everything the same. All right, Hugh, away you go. Horticulture tends to be high risk because uh, losing a crop you know, is, is something we don't want to have happen. But in these modern greenhouses, we have, you know, quite good controls with the computer systems and with the experience. So with the high-tech operations, we are able to achieve high production. The entire complex reacts to the weather outside. Vents in the roof open and close. The huge boilers provide warmth when it's cool. Carbon dioxide created by combustion is spread around doubling what's normal. This promotes plant growth. This basically is the heart of the operation. This is where we can see everything and control everything in the greenhouse, all right? So what you can see here is you can see that we've got um, environmental data for each compartment and also irrigation data for each compartment. So we can see exactly what's happening in every module. We also have the ability to see on a, as graphs. With such a wide range of science involved, comprehensive training is essential. Training advisor Louise Cooper from the Primary Industry Training Organisation is here to assist assistant grower Bobby Nija. The advice I'd give to anyone that's looking to enter the vegetable production industry is to get out there and take your CV around, try and get an after school job, talk to the people that are already in the industry about what the job involves, but really just getting in there and giving it a go and getting hands on. So what do you enjoy about your job? This is the best spot that I've ever found working since I've been into New Zealand. Today, Bobby's keeping Hugh busy with bee distribution. 
So, there are bees in here? Ah, uh, yes, there are bees in here. Using bumblebees to pollinate produces rounder, more consistent fruit. When the bees are working, the hothouse can't spray. Insecticides will kill them. So they've had to look for natural methods of pest control. Challenges are, uh, with growing is uh, pests and disease. Uh, that's, that's a big challenge. In this company, we're working towards getting away from spraying. So when we do spray, we use things like soaps. We use sticky traps on trolleys. We do a lot of scouting. So that's the name of the game. That's my personal objective, is to not spray the tomatoes. To reduce the problem of whitefly, parasitic wasps have been introduced. They inject their eggs into the larvae of whitefly, which kills them. Unwanted bugs could cause whole shipments of export fruit to be rejected. So in the pack house, checking for unwanted pests is an important part of quality controller Jamie Anderson's job. We're checking for quality and insects. What you want to do is check the entire tomato to make sure there is no insects whatsoever. And also for quality with splits, crazing, branch rub. This $1.5 million packhouse grading machine is state of art. Each piece of fruit is photographed, very accurately measured and colour tested too. The data is fed into a computer which chooses a bin for a particular colour and size. If you get stuck in the past and you just keep doing things the way you did them yesterday, um, I think you'll get left behind because with technology things are just motoring along. I think what we'd like to see as an industry is young people coming in and innovative, um, up to speed with technology, can take technology on. I mean, older guys like me, you know, we've been dragged along with the technology, but I love to see some of the younger people coming along and they're just already up to speed with computers and, and they're saying, look, have you thought of doing this or doing that? Or we could add some value, we can do Facebook. So we need people with those sort of talents that can bring that to the business. So it's been pretty full on for Hugh. How's he done? You know, he did really well. He um, picked it up pretty quick, uh, particularly with the uh, clipping, which is quite a hard job to master. And, um, you know, we need, we need those sort of people in, in this uh, operation. Some of the interesting stuff I've learnt about this place is how, how much it actually takes to run this. Like, the amount of people, the amount of technology that's used and the amount of effort that's put in just to grow to tomatoes is phenomenal. There's a shortage of school leavers entering the vegetable industry, so job opportunities are there. You have to start with the basics, but with training and some technical ability, career progression is excellent. Horticulture is an important part of the New Zealand economy, and the demand for quality food continues to grow. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand On Air.